Rescue mission day three. Hello and welcome back everyone to another exciting episode of Toucan Plays. We are playing Pikmin 4 and we're getting ready to start day three of our rescue mission of the rescuers, the rescue core members that have stranded on the planet. Wait, is it just me or did Otachi go through another ghost spurt overnight? That's actually quite typical for his breed. It's a sign that he's fully grown and qualified for more rigorous activity. Oh boy, all the Pikmin are jumping on the poor pups. The Pikmin sure are, are sure are playful today. Yes, they appear to be letting their guard down now that Otachi's come onto his own. I'm just glad to see they're getting along. Me too, Colin. <laughs> right, another benefit of Atachi being fully grown is that he can now build up his pup drive while completing missions. With regular training sessions, he can learn new skills that would be useful for everyday rescue operations. From the look of it, Otachi is ready as ever to fill up that pup drive. All right. All right, Otachi. All right, officers, to your stations, please. <laughs> Copy that. <sighs> I now call this strategy meeting to order. First things first, Russ, please update us on the improvements being made to the SS Beagle. Kee it would be my absolute pleasure, Captain Shepard, because they're done. The SS Beagle now has the ability to transform any raw material collected into the field to an all-purpose clay. With this functionality, we should be able to easily build on location. Okay, looks like we can build like bridges and stuff. Excellent. Of course, I'm not quite sure what we'll be building, but good work nonetheless. One last thing. Bring me raw material and I'll be able to whip up exciting new gear and items for you in the lab. I have no doubt they'll be useful for you out in the field. Sounds like we're not only collecting treasure, but raw material too. And don't forget about our missing rescue officers. We're counting on you to find them, Toucan Plays and Otachi. By the way, come talk to me later when you have a minute. I would like to discuss Itachi's training. I hereby call this strategy meeting to a close. Copy that. <laughs> All right. New tablet app installed. Don't forget, I need more raw materials. All right, let's talk to, let's talk to the captain and train up Otachi. Ah, there you are. Danger is constant, is a constant when exploring an unknown planet like this one. The skills I'll teach you and Otachi might just save you. As long as you and Otachi keep building up his pup drive, there's nothing the two of you can't do. Well, I hope you're ready because it's time to start your training. All right, I'd like to train. All right, it's time to commence training. The journey will begin will be long and arduous, but I have no doubt the two of you can handle it. Okay, let's learn some skills. The rescue pup training curriculum has been passed down through many generations. If Otachi's pup drive has been built up sufficiently, he can train and learn new skills without a problem. As for what skills to learn and when to learn them, well, that depends on the rescue approach that you two want to take. Go the buff path if you want to carry heavy things, or go the chomp path if you want to take if if taking on creatures is your priority. But keep the proper dantori practices in mind and think carefully about what will help you carry out your duties efficiently. Okay. Well, let's see, buff level two, increasing Otachi's strength makes him better at physical attacks with brawn of five Pikmin. He'll be even more effective. Okay, good. Chomp, when it comes to sharpening your rip pup, rescue pup's attack skill, the chomp journey is a long one, but worth it. All right, rush. This skill shortens the energy charging time a little. It's easier for Otachi to strike critters that are moving around. Dig has already been learned, good. Heal, I can learn heal. This skill increases Otachi's healing power. Okay. Uh, when he's injured, he'll recover as long as he takes it easy. Okay. Command level two, use this skill to tell your partner to go to your base. It also enables go here on the radar map. Okay. I think we should learn heal. I have three pup drive and I need three. Yes, let's learn it. All right. Let's go back. Great work, Otachi. I've got just the reward for you. Going forward, every time you complete training, you'll get a scrummy bone. <laughs> Give it to Otachi as a reward for me. All right, all right. Nice. 
Oh, this seems like an opportune time to teach you how to use items. Okay. Uh, push Y from actions to open your pack with L. Okay. You'll find all your items there, so just pick the one you want to use. All right, let's see. Let's find the scrummy bone. Come here, I'll touchy. No, 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 no. That's the wrong button. I need to find Y. Pack. There's the bone. Here, go get the bone. Go get it. Oh, uh-oh. The captain's quite excited to talk to you about Itachi's growth. You should see what she has to say. And Russ has something to discuss with you as well. Feel free to put off your departure until after you have a chance to speak with both. Okay. Actually, I wasn't even really trying to talk to you. I was trying to throw the scrummy bone. There you go. Go get the bone. Oh, did you find the bone? Did I, did I even throw it? If I did, it didn't. Yeah, pack, bone. There's the bone. Come on, let's throw this bone. Ah. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go get the bone. Go get the bone. Good boy. There you go. Good boy. <laughs> All right, let's visit the lab now. Ahem. Allow me to introduce myself again. I am Russ, the resident brains of this rescue core operation. I use the raw materials you find and my handmade components to create all kinds of items and gear for use in the field. Okay, let's visit the lab then. I can proudly state that all of my inventions have been perfectly perfected. You could even say that I have it down to a science. <laughs> yes, yes. In exchange for raw material, I provide you with new gear. Your contributions make it possible for me to continue my important work. I may run out of components from time to time. If that happens, just visit the lab the next day after I've restocked. Okay, well, let's visit the lab then. Yeah. Okay, a charging horn. Press X and this horn will order the selected pigment to charge. Press repeatedly to charge it an entire squad. Okay. Made from premium premium fireproof fabric will protect you from any inferno. Plus, it's moisture wicking. <gasps> moisture wicking? What? Okay. Uh, and another, oh, a scorch guard collar for the dog. Okay, once you understand the science behind Red Pikmin's fire resistance, Otachi can e easily been made fire resistant too. Okay, well, I like this charging horn. Let's go ahead and get one of those. Cool. Uh, I, maybe, maybe we do need this scorch guard too. Should I buy it? I guess I will. Yeah, because you never know. You never know. Uh, scrummy bone uh, with uh, when Otachi is injured, this will heal him instantly. <gasps> well, I wish I would have known that. I would have kept the scrummy bone. Oh man, when he's in perfect health, it will temporarily increase his HP. Oh, that's good to know too. Emergency kit. This life-saving item will protect you from getting knocked out. Plus, it detects your low HP and automatically heals you. Ooh, can I buy that? Oh, I can buy that. Okay, good. This life-saving kit auto replenishes your HP. You should always keep one equipped. Then you can focus on rescuing. Good, good point, good point. Okay, I've got one. Gahi, I'd love to take this opportunity to teach you how to use my scientific masterpiece, the charging horn. It's actually quite simple. Just press X to blow your horn once you order your Pikmin to charge. If you press X once, only your selected Pikmin or Tachi will charge, but keep pressing X and the entire squad charges. As you can see, this horn is perfect for attacks or transporting objects. You can even call it Dandori Dynamite. <laughs> I don't think I will be calling it Dandori Dynamite, but thank you. <laughs> all right, let's go explore. We'll, we're all set over here. The SS Beagle can take off whenever you're ready. Let's go. Which area would you like to explore? I think I only have one choice. Unlock more areas with 1,500. I don't think I have anywhere near that many, so. Sun Speckled Terrace, let's go. Off we go into the unknown. Well, not really unknown. Into the Sun Speckled Terrace. I imagine there's probably more uh, Rescue Corps members to find there, more crew members. Progress 13%. Yeah, there's there's still a lot to do here. Rescues one out of I don't know how many, three treasures out of I don't know how many, and one onion out of I don't know how many. Hmm. All right. Well, let's get to work. Here we go. Okay, so come in, come in, over. As we discussed earlier, Otachi has grown a bit. So this morning I decided to drill him on his jump skill. 
Sweet, sweet. Otachi should be able to move around more easily now, even with you and the Pikmin on board. Walk up close to Otachi and press Y to mount. Press it again to dismount. Press X when you want to want Otachi to use jump. He should have no problem clearing small ledges. If you keep holding X after you jump, you can build up his power. Hit something with a rush to launch the Pikmin on his back and have them land on your target. Using jump will give you access to more search areas and have uh, and a good rush can be a game changing move in battle. Okay, oh, good to know. So let's ride. Let's need more ice Pikmin. Yes, how do I get more ice Pikmin? See if Otachi can track down their scent. Okay. Uh, let's, uh, okay, so I can hold 30 because I got that onion from last time. Oh, there's an auto. Let's do auto. Uh, auto? Auto. There we go. So I got all five of ice and 25 red. Okay, good. That works for me. Come on, guys, get on. Ah, that's so cool. Aha, pop, pop, pop. <laughs> I don't think I need to get any more flowers. Can I hop up here? No, no, no hopping up there. It's too high. Now, I remember the last time we were here. So that electric fence is there. Dude, I wonder if these bosses are back. I hope they're not. It does not appear to be so. That's good. Ooh, there's an onion up there. Can I? Uh, no, cannot. Okay. But there was this, yeah, the, the clock, the stopwatch on the wall. I think what I need to do is hold down X. Yeah, 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 okay. Hold down X, charge the wall, and yes, there we go. That's what I wanted to do last time. Okay, now I should be able to throw my seven Pikmin on there, and they can take that back. Okay, good. And then I can demolish this. I don't know how many I need to throw at it, but I'll just throw them all. <laughs> And that should provide a nice little shortcut, right? Oh, good, and it gives uh, it gives me some some raw materials for some scientific stuff. Oh, and there's the uh, the bag that I can push down. Okay, good. Come on, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Transport this stuff for me. Come on, come on. Oh, that's a nice little shortcut there. But what I want to do? Oh, 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 oh is this another? I think it is. Yeah, okay, this is another underground thing right here. I wonder if there's some ice Pikmin in this underground area. Oh, I'm excited about that. First things first though, I wanna push this down. So I've got another shortcut. Yeah, okay, cool. So now I can go up and down however I want. Okay, I wanna wait. I'm gonna wait until I get that uh, stopwatch or pocket watch into the SS Beagle. There we go, good. Now I wanna go into, ooh, 600 Sparklium, nice. New gear available, okay. But I wanna go down the hole here. Let, oh, Crackling Cauldron. I, I was feeling hotter than usual in my spacesuit, and when I looked down, the ground was on fire. I panicked, but a red Pikmin just gave me a sidelong glance, totally unfazed, as if the fire, as even as the fire licked at them, they're clearly capable of more than just skillful attacks. Nice, okay, so I've got a lot of red Pikmin here. Let's let's go do auto again, oh. Okay, so they're just saying bring a whole bunch of, uh, a whole bunch of red ones. Let's do that then. Here we go! <laughs> nice. Crackling cauldron. You know what? I didn't even check. I'm assuming that I got 100% on that last, on that last dungeon. I guess they call it a dungeon. I don't know what else to call it. Sewer underground area. Ooh, here we go. Some, uh, some nectar. No, no, no. Yeah, just get some nectar. Yeah. Yeah, come on, guys. Do do. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, okay, and then they get bloomed. Okay, good. Okay, hello, my little friend. Let's see what we can do here. Now, I don't think I can do anything with that. That looks dangerous. I don't want to touch it. Uh, uh, this guy. <laughs> get him, Pikmin! 
No, get him! They should be unfazed by the fire. Oh, they were. They were totally unfazed by the fire. That is fantastic. I love it. Little fire-breathing anteater thing. All right. Those guys are going to bring the anteater body back and get some material from it. I'm going to send these guys up here. Yeah, take them down. <laughs> take this guy down, too. <laughs> Yeah, that's awesome. I love this. I love this. Okay. Ooh, yellow eyes. Come on, let's get the yellow guys. Hello, yellow Pikmin. I love their ears. <laughs> Ooh, they, they, they have electrical zaps. Is this a new type of Pikmin? I should check to see if Captain Olimar's log says anything about them. The yellow Pikmin. I've decided to call the yellow colored Pikmin with large ear like appendages, yellow Pikmin. I like that name a lot more than ear Pikmin. <laughs> they're resistant to electricity and they fly high when thrown. Plus, they're good at digging. Okay, they fly high when thrown and they're resistant to electricity. Plus, they're good at digging. Okay, they're, they're good at all kinds of stuff. Good. Resistant to electricity? How unusual. What in the world are they made out of? That sounds like a potentially useful quality, though. Just be careful how you deploy them. They aren't, there aren't that many. I noticed there aren't that many of them, are there? Okay, but, but. Oh, hello. Hello. Yeah, let's take this guy back. Yeah, okay, I got five. I was like, yeah, oh, I wasn't that moving, but uh, there we go, it's five. It looks like a, um, like sushi or something. It's definitely seaweed on it. Some kind of a bean paste something or another. There we go, good. I was wondering if I could get that. Yellow Pikmin are great at digging holes. Okay. Well, let's send them up there then. Oh, they're totally good at digging holes. Look at that. And they found some, uh, oh yeah, come on back. Yeah, good, there we go. They found some paint. That's pretty cool. Now, these yellow Pikmin, I bet you that they will be able to go into this yellow or this uh, electrical fence right here. I can't wait to see what the AI is calling this uh, bean paste thing up here. Seaweed sandwich. <laughs> Come on, guys. Okay, I want the yellow Pikmin. I want to see if you guys are able to withstand this thing. They are. Okay, no red ones, though, because the red ones will definitely not be able to withstand that. The yellow ones are doing, making quick work of that, I think, though. Zap it, zap it. Come on, guys. Now, looks like it's going to take a little while. <laughs> Let's see what's over here. Anything I can do? I don't think I can jump up this. No, definitely not. Yay, electric gate demol demolished. Oh, good. And I got some materials from it. Come on, guys. Oh, that's awesome. So there was that other electric gate over in the overworld. I'm totally going to take these yellow Pikmin over there and open up that yellow gate in a minute. Well, as soon as we're done here, anyway. Get them, boys. Oh, no, don't, don't zap me, though. Your fire means nothing to my red Pikmin. <laughs> yeah. Bring back the spoils of war, boys. Hey, hey. hey. Hey, don't, don't, don't push me around though, guys. Come on. Okay, so this looks like the exit. I don't want to go there just yet. Nice. What's this? It's shiny. I'm sure it's got lots of sparkly a minute. Yeah. Bring it home. Bring it home, boys. Oh, get these, get these mosquito things though. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Did that guy, was he killing my guys? I hope that the mosquito guy wasn't killing any of my guys. I'm gonna be mad if he was. Hey guys, come on. Yeah, <laughs> join the crew. <laughs> and here's a shortcut. Push, push, push. And here is some of these materials. There's 15 of them. Oh man. Come on, come on. Ah, I still need more. Oh, no, I don't. Okay, good. Okay. Nice. 
Nice. Bring them all back. Bring it all back. Lots of fat loot. <laughs> 800 sparkling. I love being able to ride my pup, my pooch. More sparkling? Oh yeah. You better believe it. All right, come on guys, hop on, let's go. Soon we can increase the radar's range. No, I didn't lose a single guy. That's good. Um, is that it though? I think that might be it for this area. Now, I don't remember how to use the pooch's sniffer. I know there was a button for it. Was it, uh, was it Y? Command. Yes. Sniff out. Uh, we just, maybe just pick out any kind of a scent. Follow the scent. Oh, there is some kind of a scent here, guys. Oh, what scent do we have here? Otachi, find me a scent. The scent leads to the next sub. Oh, there's another sub level. Oh. oh. Okay. Well. Oh, I only have 27. Where's the rest of my guys? Ah. Uh, no, no, no. I know. I had 30, right? Oh, there we go. There, I found him. Okay, good. Let's just to go all the way around. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I gotta go this way. <laughs> How cute. The Pikmin are singing. All right, down the tube. Let's go. All right, Crackling Cauldron, sub-level two, progress 50%, found three treasures. Hopefully there's uh, three more treasures and a person down here. Ooh, look, are these marshmallows? <laughs> huh, there must be a castaway nearby. Oh, because, uh, because uh, Atachi can sniff them. Okay, everybody who wants needs nectar, get some nectar. Looks like everybody who needed nectar got it. Okay, now, now my red guys, can you do something with this marshmallow? You can. Okay, guys, do something about these marshmallows. They broke the marshmallow, and it's oh, the sizzling floor has been extinguished. Nice. Okay, good. No more sizzling floor. Oh. It's so hot. <laughs> Me no like the hot floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these guys make quick work of it, though. Look at that. Sizzling floor is extinguished. But what are they doing? Oh, are they digging? They must be digging. Oh, it's a beet or a sweet potato. It's a sweet potato. That's what it is. Oh, but the yellow guys dig faster, don't they? Come on, here, 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 here. There we go. Oh, the yellow guys dig so much faster. Oh, so many people are bringing that sweet potato back. That, oh, so it's, a, it's a roasted sweet potato because <laughs> it was in the fire. How cool. Yeehaw, yeehaw. New treasure collected. Nice. All right. Oh, a thousand. That was worth a thousand sparklium. Oh, man. Okay, what's over here? Oh, what is that? What is that? What is that guy? Oh! 
Whoa! What is that guy? No, but seriously, oh! Don't you flatten? No, no, no! Oh, there he's totally flattening my Pikmin! No, no, no! Don't flatten my Pikmin! Oh, good. I think I killed him. Oh! Oh! Let's move the base here. <laughs> it's, it's a faster walk for you guys. <laughs> oh man, he totally flattened my Pikmin. Oh. I can't believe he he I'm still shocked. I'm shook that he flattened my Pikmin. Like I feel I feel like sad. Ah, <laughs> uh, get out of here, mosquito. Oh. It's so high, could we use yellow Pikmin? I'm sure we can, otherwise you wouldn't be saying so. Okay, so I'm guessing... Yeah, okay, so the yellow Pikmin definitely can be thrown higher. But sometimes it doesn't really work all that well, it looks like. Let's, see, let's try this again. There we go. Okay, we got a little, what is this, a cheeseburger? And a donut. Nice. Okay. Cool, so we got some stuff from up there. And we need to demolish this. Go get them. Treasure collected. Man, this has been a cool dungeon. I like this dungeon. And a donut. Nice. Yeah, collect all those raw materials, boys. Let's see what's down this way. Oh. Okay. More raw materials and another mosquito. Got him. Got him. All right, more raw materials. Got all those. Okay, yellow guys, let's take out. No, not a red guy, though. Don't use the red guy. Only the yellow guys can attack the, the electrical fence. Only yellow guys attack the electric fence, please. And now let's go collect these guys. Come on. Yeah, jump on. Okay, now it looks like over here there is some marshmallow. Ah! Got him. All right, got the marshmallow. And we've got some more yellow guys to unpluck. Hello. Hello, my little yellow friends. Speaking of yellow friends, why don't you guys help these guys with the electric fence? And I'll collect you guys. And I think I need some yellow guys to come up to get this. This uh, rescue core crew member up here. We got plenty of yellow guys now. I can throw them up here to get the rescue core crew member. Looks like he's taking a nap too here, huh? Oh, yes. Hello, friend. He's got his little, his little beacon going. Heave ho, heave ho. Hello, friends. Come along. I think that might be everything. Let's, let's, oops. Yeah, let's, oh. I think we might have found another rescue officer. Let's hurry and verify their ID info. Schnauz. <laughs> His name is Schnauz. His own planet was Sigure. Sigure. <laughs> okay. An acclimated treasure appraiser who's traveled extensively. His unique techniques were used to develop a leading appraisal AI. Okay. Hang on. This is no rescue officer. Who is this and how did he get here? 
I don't know. The ID shows that he's a treasure appraiser. What's he doing on this planet? Hmm, I wonder. <clears throat> you remember the voyage log that arrived with Captain Olimar's SOS signal? Perhaps there were others who picked up his signal, saw the log, and decided to come all this way in search of treasure. Maybe they ended up like Captain Olimar, too, shipwrecked and stranded. Oh, well, that's my hunch, anyway. I'd like to think this appraiser is, only, is the only one, but... We should keep an eye out for more civilian castaways and be ready to rescue them, too. Chances are they're in danger. I'm officially adding this to our mission list. Got it, you two? Mission, rescue all castaways. As if we didn't have enough work finding Captain Olimar in the rescue corps, there's also civilian castaways on this planet. Rescue any that you come across. All right, so now we have to find civilian castaways along with the rescue corps members. All right, now let's get off. I want to make sure that I've got everything. No, I don't want to ride. I want to, I want to command. Find a scent. Is there a scent anywhere? Follow the scent, Itachi. Oh, he found some, he found some materials. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Where's the materials, boy? So there's the source of the scent. Oh, what, what did they find? Oh, oh, get it. Get the beetle. Get the beetle, guys. Oh, they got the beetle. Oh, man. He's full of all kinds of material. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, that was kind of cool. Let's see if we can do that again. Uh, command, find another scent. Barf. Follow the scent, Itachi. He found the exit. Okay, so I think that's it then. I think we're good. I think we can just leave. Good boy. Good boy. Let's go back up to the surface. Yeah. Here we go. Woohoo. <laughs> the crackling cauldron rescues. We res rescued. I keep wanting to say Sanchez, but it's schnauz. Schnauz. And we got our pup drive up. Nice. Sparkly and discovered all kinds of stuff. Okay, let's let's read these. These are so funny. A deceptive snack. I don't know what that is. It's a cookie with seaweed on it. Illumination goo. A dusty bed. What is that? Oh, <laughs> it's an eraser, a chalkboard eraser. That's funny. Daughter of the earth. It's a yam. <laughs> That's a sweet potato. SS chocolate. Uh, okay, so I guess it's a sandwich cookie is what it is. I thought it was a hamburger, but it's a sandwich cookie. Cookie of nibbled circles. Nibbled circles? Wasn't like an oatmeal cookie, I guess? <laughs> I love the names. They're so cute and creative. All right. Investigation complete. 100%. We found everything there was to be found. We lost nine red Pikmin to that weird flattening sandwich crab thing. Oh, man. That was a bummer. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> What's the problem? Oh, I see. The Pikmin won't follow you onto the surface. Why not? Yeah, there are limits to how many and what types of Pikmin you can have out on the surface at any one time. But don't worry about the rest when you can choose which Pikmin to take. Okay. Any remaining Pikmin will go back to the Onion with the SS Beagle. Okay. That's good to know. New Voyage Log Entry. Oh, so I get to choose which ones I want to take with me. Uh, okay. Yeah, well, we autoed it. Okay. No, that looks like a good variety. Let's, uh, let's confirm that. And then we'll ride. There are so many types of Pikmin. Ah, uh, okay. So let's see. I bet I can throw my yellow Pikmin up here. Do I have enough though? I need 12. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, perfect. Got it. Nice. Sweet. I don't know, she was telling she was giving me a tip about uh disbanding. I don't know why I would want to disband, but perhaps there's a reason to. Nice though. Cool. Heave ho, heave ho. I wonder if I should be getting more of these. I might need more because. Uh, because I lost some Pikmin back there. <laughs> Uh, 
Ah, I found... I found the binoculars. I wonder what they're going to be called. Some sort of weird-looking glass thing, right? Do -do -do -do. All right, come on, Blue Pikmin. So I don't know what quite what to do with the water just yet. But I do know... Come on, guys, get on! The onion produced different Pikmin? So onion color determines Pikmin type. There was another onion over there, too, I think I remember. But first things first, I want to um, zap... Not zap, I want to destroy this zapper that's right over here. Yeah, this guy right here. I hope 12 is enough. It's probably going to take me forever. Do, 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 do. Ah, ha, ha. All right, so you guys start zapping away at that. I do think that there was another onion. Yeah, that's right, but I probably need yellow Pikmin for the, that um, that onion that's right up here. It's over this way somewhere. I know it is. Where did I see it? There it is, right over there. But yeah, that's so high. I'm definitely going to need yellow Pikmin to get up there. Um, where else? Oh, there's a ball over there on that, that wall way over there. That's probably so high, I need yellow Pikmin for that one, too. Ten! The electric gate's demolished! Already? Okay, good. Good, good, good. That was faster than I thought. Let's go see what's beyond the electric gate, shall we? Hopefully my yellow Pikmin are still here. They are! Good! Come on, guys, get on! Woohoo! Okay, let's see what's over here. I know, it's noon! Ding dong! 25. Oh, I hate losing so many Pikmin to just pick up random stuff, but uh, eh, there we go. I'm left with only one little Pikmin. Can I throw? What is, is that a guy over there? It does look like a guy. Oh, that's totally a guy over there. But how do I get over there? Can I, can I go in the water with the dog? Oh, I can't. No, I can't. No. Oh, no. Otachi, I am so sorry. This is bad. Otachi can't swim. Oh, no. Call him back to land with the whistle. Okay, I'm sorry, Otachi. I'm so sorry. Oh, oh I'm so sorry. <laughs> Pile of raw material transported. Okay, good. Well, how am I going to get that guy? Uh, okay. Let's see what else is over here. Oh, there's a beetle again. Okay. I need to go get my Pikmin back. Ugh. So frustrating. Wish I could just like... Whoops. Get on. Wish I could just whistle and have them all come to me. Nope. I have to... Can I sprint? No. No sprint. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, come on, guys. Get over here. You know what? I want to go get that onion because... I think the onions increase the number of Pikmin I can carry, which would help me so much. Come here, onion. Where are you? There you are. I want to get you. And I'm sure I can just throw these yellow guys up here. Right? Yes. Okay, good. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, and they dig so fast, too. Nice piece of cake. Good. Okay, good. Now that'll increase the number of Pikmin I can carry. I just, I keep looking at this tin flower down here. I'm, oh, hello. What are you? You're a plant. Nice, there we go. Hey guys, don't go that way. Yeah, there we go, come this way. Very cool, there we go, there we go. Oh yeah, that was that was a good little shortcut. I'm glad we did that. Oh, hey, get, get back on. Oh yeah, that was so worthwhile. Like, these guys are gonna get there before the onion dudes are. <laughs> We're all gonna get there around the same time. Nice. You know, they keep calling this an onion. It looks like a tomato to me. 
We can take out 10 more Pikmin now. This should speed up our search. Oh yes, for sure. Nice. And now I've got these flowers, this 10 flower. Well, it's gonna help so much. All right. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Okay. Okay, let's get some more Pikmin here. Uh, we'll just auto it again. Uh, not that button. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that works for me. Um, do I need to pluck them? I think I might need to pluck them. Pluck, pluck, pluck. <laughs> hello, hello. Woohoo. Hello, little Pikmin. I'll just rip you right out of the ground. <laughs> All right, I think I still have, I have enough time at least to push this bag down on the ground. I would like to be able to get that ramp so I can have a shortcut up there next time. Cause I am running out of time during my day here. Yeah. Okay. Let's push this bag down, guys. Heave ho, heave ho. Nice, paper bag lowered. Good, now I've got a shortcut up to this spot for tomorrow. And I've got a big bad boss. I wonder if I have enough time to kill him. Oh, that beetle, that beetle's not here anymore. I bet that beetle was just like a one-time event. Hmm, okay, well, let's kill this guy. Oh, they took him out like nothing. Good job, champs. Yeah, get that guy now. Don't eat him, don't eat him. No, don't eat him. Oh, good, I got him. <laughs> oh, new base unlocked. I can move my base here. Okay, well, let's do that. Let's move the base. That's easy. Easy, guys. Come on over here. It's faster. Um, What's in here? Anything? Nope, nothing in here. Meandering slope. Okay. Oh, these butterflies. I can attack them. Or can I? <laughs> I kind of can, but I kind of can't. What's the deal? Like, I, I could throw my guys at them, but I can't actually hit them. That's funny. I'm always a little bit slow at, at actually landing on those guys. Uh, <laughs> Oh, well, I guess I can't get the butterflies. Hey, come on, guys. Everybody on board. We're running out of time. We're running out of time. I just want to see what's up this way. I don't think I can actually get anything. But, uh, oh, 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 some beetles. I can bring them back to base. Oh, another big boss. I can kill him. I can kill him. It's almost time. I know. I know. Bring him back to base, guys. I believe we can turn this partial construction into a vital asset. We'll process raw materials into clay at the SS Beagle and use it as building material to finish this structure. These raw materials are only valuable when brilliant minds give them a higher purpose, after all. Once you're at the construction site, simply direct your Pikmin and Otachi to start building. I think we're going to have to do that next time, because we're running out of time! Come on, guys! Heave-ho! Heave-ho! Three, two, one, zero! Okay, good. Everybody's, everybody's in the base. I think we're good to go! Oh, hey, let's see if we can kill this, uh... <laughs> I don't know why. It's just a, it's a cute little butterfly. I shouldn't be so excited about killing a butterfly, but I don't know. I am. Um, what can I say? Let's get this flower while we're here. Come on, get it. I feel like I feel like I'm just kind of wasting time until that's not going to happen, huh? No, nope, come back. Come back. Come back, I say. All right, all right. Well, hurry up then. Okay, well, five seconds. Hurry up, five seconds. Oh, 
we made it. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Four, three. Oh, this is so slow. The countdown is so slow. They give you so much time. <laughs> I don't know why I was nervous. I was like, oh man, I'm running out of time. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> All right. We're gonna see what the results for this day is, and then we're gonna call this an episode. This is so fun, I love this game. I'm having so much fun. I hope you guys are enjoying the, these episodes as much as I'm enjoying playing them, because it's, it's just so much fun. All right, here we go, nighttime. We're coming in for a landing. Hi guys, I'm back. All right, let's see what the results of day three are. We found schnauz. We got one more rescue and we got another pup drive. And we discovered all kinds of sparklium. We got like over a thousand, didn't we? Yeah, 1330, nice. And our progress went from 13% to 27% at the uh, the Sun Speckled Terrace. That's nice, we're over a quarter of the way done with Sun Speckled Terrace, nice. I'm still shocked that Captain Olimar isn't the only castaway on this planet. Well, Olimar's SOS signal was transmitted across the entirety of outer space. So it's not completely unexpected that the message would capture the attention of adventure seekers and draw them here. And as the rescue corpse, it is now our corpse core it is now our duty to rescue every last one of them. I love the enthusiasm. Of course, the more rescues we make, the more crowded the rescue command post will get. Colin, I need you to further develop and expand the rescue command post. Copy that, Captain. My list of job duties just keeps getting longer and longer. Hmm. <laughs> Poor Colin. All right. Let's close that. Yeah, I think that is going to do it for this episode, though, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. We'll have to do Ignition Day 4 tomorrow, or rather in the next episode. Really do appreciate you guys joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Check out the video that you see on your screen right now, and we will see you guys on the flip side. Later!